Hi everyone, this is Kent Kaufman uh, coming here at BigYield.us and today we're going to talk about our flaming system, how to flame crops, uh, what to look for, just how the entire system works. Alright, so what we started to do is we started to work with the flamers a lot. Uh, we started to work with the flamers because of the organic side of the house, but they also work very well in the conventional side. So the organic flamer runs off of propane, so it's a chemical free, you're not going to have any, anything going into the ground. What it does is it's not actually burning the plant. It's not, you're not trying to light the plant on fire. What you're trying to do is you vaporize the water in the plant cells, which then destroys the ability of the plant to photosynthesize. So it works really great for broadleaves. It works good for grasses. Grasses you're usually going to want to hit twice. You want to go through once and then hopefully go through again the next day. And you want to want to get the growth areas of your plant. And so that means you're going to want to get the top areas more than anything. So you're going to want your corn or your soybeans or whatever you're flaming to be above, you know, 16 to 18 inches and you're going to want whatever you're flaming to be shorter than that so you can get the top of it if you want to flame a bare field you're going to want to mow it first and then you're going to want to flame it after that so one of the big things with the propane uh, instead of using chemicals is you're not going to have any runoff the, you just you have a nice clean flame a nice clean drive through your field and so you don't have to worry about that any of that getting into your water supply so currently if you're running four to seven gallons of liquid propane an acre then at, at the current propane prices, you're going to hit about $5.40 to $9.45 an acre, which makes burning your weeds with, with the flamer very, very cost effective compared to most chemicals. So one of, the, one of the really nice things about flaming is you're going to see whether or not the flame has killed the weed within a couple days. It's going, to, it's going to turn brown. It's going to die. It's not like spraying Roundup where you have to wait, you know, really five days to a week to really see what's going on there. A flame, you know within a couple days what's dead, what's not, what you have to hit again. And so the immediate thing you're going to do to test whether or not your flamer is working to see if it's going to kill the plant, what you do is after you run the flamer, you're going to grab the, the leaf of the plant that you're trying to kill and you're going to put your thumb on it and you're going to do a fingerprint test. And, the, and what that means is that once you squeeze on the plant and then release, you should be able to see your fingerprint. If you can see your fingerprint, then that plant is going to die. As again, everybody, I, I thank you all for watching and join us online, bigyield.us, and see what we have for you.